Hi guys, I've been spitting a lot of content lately, mainly because it's like the end of the month and I'm very close to just quitting the job. So I'm basically going back on track with pushing videos probably every day or every other day. That's like the main goal for the next month. But as you may know or may not, but if you clicked on this video, you probably do know. Um, Dying Like The Beast was announced yesterday on Gamescom and literally after watching this trailer, I just went to just make something to eat and that was it. Because there was nothing else interesting on Gamescom besides Path of Exile 2, which my friend is hyped about. I like hyped hyped because he prefers the first one but you, you get the drift right but other than dying light there was literally nothing interesting and mainly because nothing actually goes out lately like nothing cool is being made right now other than gta 6 obviously i mean probably they're gonna show doom on the other day like maybe tomorrow or even today who knows but yeah that's basically it and they they are showing like 100 games something like that throughout the games come only or even more but i'm just interested in two and that's actually weird <laughs> because like in previous years when there was e3 still around i was like hyped for a lot more but whatever what i wanted to talk about is like my concerns about this dlc that is not a dlc right now as we know it <laughs> it's a standalone game and my first concern is about the price because if you buy the ultimate edition for like i don't know 20 dollars it is something like that i don't know how much it is in other like countries but whatever i've been thinking about the price and if the price tag is <laughs> nearly the same as elder ring and it's gonna be a lot especially for like 18 hour gameplay so i think the price is gonna be like around maybe like 20 or even 30 dollars and that's it and I hope it is lower, <laughs> because I don't want it to be that high. I <laughs> I want to play this game, you know, and obviously I want everyone else to play this game. And some of you and my friends especially are like tight on budget. So please Techland make the price like a little bit lower. And I hope Tencent won't influence the price. Like, I really hope that this will not be the case and maybe also that's the reason why it is a standalone because you may be able to buy this g game only with like the store within dying light 2 so the, the price will stay the same all the time and there won't be discounts but i think Techland won't do this to us like in 90 percent of time but yeah i hope the price is lower my other concern is that the game was scrapped many times. Like at first we had Blood Diamonds, then we had this Last Frontier, and now we have the Beast. So it's like Dying Light 2 situation over again. And the Last Frontier's story got leaked and they thought like, okay, um, let us change the entire thing. Because like, the story was okay with the Last Frontier. In the best gamer early video you have everything so the story was okay i watched it in its entirety right now because i know it's just not gonna be the same probably like in 90 percent again so i just watched it in its entirety and it was okay but it involved aiden like you were playing as aiden and right now since it was announced that you play as kyle crane I hope that Techland is not false advertising to us this game again. 
Like, I don't know if they have a capacity to do this again. Seriously. So, I think that this the beast thing might be scrapped again because something might got leaked again or like they just don't like the project anymore. But I think that this game getting scrapped over and over won't deliver the same value as it wanted to deliver in the first place. I mean, Blood Diamonds was basically shit, you know, like who the fuck needs money in Dying Light 2? You just go on easy mode and that's it. Just sell your stuff. So who the fuck needs, needs money? But I think they wanted to do something like maybe even bigger than the following. Because the following has like 20 hours of gameplay. I don't remember when I was first time playing this. Maybe like even 30 or something. But it had a lot of content, right? And we can all agree about it. And I hope the beast will have the same amount or even more, especially like hell, 10 years after the premiere. Because let's be honest, like this project was scrapped because the new frontier wa uh, story was leaked like a couple months ago, maybe. So if it got scrapped, honestly, we won't see it until 2025, especially since this year is going to an end like in four months only and that's a scary news <laughs> because you know like we're just, we are still processing May or something but yeah I'm just concerned about the project because it either gonna be scrapped again or leaked again <laughs> who knows or maybe they will actually keep everything because like they just get tired of it and just release it. But honestly, I think it's gonna be in playable state. But at the same time, I'm very concerned about the outcome of it. Because as I said, just scrapping is dying light like 2 all over again. And, and it's like, I hope they learned this lesson right now. Like, I hope they really did. But seems like they just like it or something. Sorry, a little cut here. <laughs> yeah, I'm also concerned about the release date itself. Because as I said that it's gonna probably be postponed. Multiple times maybe. Probably not scrapped, I hope it's not. But the release date is something that is not certain like at all. And we haven't heard anything about DLC 2 for like over a year now. I don't even remember. Maybe like over a year. But we still haven't heard anything. Like I really hoped that they showed something. Like a hint. Maybe like 2024. Beside the title. That would be nice, you know. But we didn't even get the year it's coming out. So that's like my last concern about it. And considering get and gathering every other concern, I'm pretty much very skeptical about it. Not to the point where I won't buy it or not to the point where I actually be like mad at Techland because come on guys, <laughs> we are all mad at Techland right now. Like, the e free shit, the Tencent buyout, like everything is just going bad. Maybe like the beast is, as I said in previous video, gonna carry the entire series. And someone in comments mentioned that the beast might be like a soft reboot to the series. That's why they mentioned Kyle Crane, and that's probably. The reason they're making this DLC a standalone game rather than actual DLC with Aiden involved. But also, I, um, under someone else's comment, I posted an idea that I had like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> like, not a minute, but you know, a, a while back. And the idea involved that. 
you as Carl meet Aiden and you can trade your items with him. Like, not in the midpoint or something, but at the beginning. So, like, you play as Aiden for a couple of seconds and then you meet Crane and then you start playing as Crane. That would be awesome, mainly because some of you have actual concerns that I started to get concerned about too, that all your progress won't carry over. And I'm personally not that obsessed about it, because as Dying Light is standalone, you know, whatever, because you can still play Dying Light 2 after this. But at the same time, the hours spent in the Beast will not matter, like, at all, because you won't carry it over to Dying Light 2. So what I would prefer, honestly, because the Beast is, from what I saw actually, probably made with the same engine and with everything the same, maybe with some change like flashlight, <laughs> something that we all want, but actually I think the idea of meeting Aiden and trading with him could be a great idea and I hope Techland listens or you can actually like push out this idea because whenever I'm posting ideas on Techland GG like they just get zero amount of like um, followers or whatever it's called there I don't even know <laughs> because I don't get any of it <laughs> but yeah I, I just my ideas just don't go anywhere so I'm just spitting ideas sometimes even spitting facts and it's all going to the void so if you have like any ability to push out some ideas that I actually had and don't worry I won't be mad if you like pin them to yourself and your name I actually be grateful because they went through and I don't care because as, as long as they actually make it to the game I, I'm happy so yeah just push the ideas but meeting Aiden is something that would be nice and even like a little notch to the I mean not notch nod to dying like two fans that hey you play as Kyle Crane and you meet Aiden that's so cool and you know the DLC happens after Dying Light 2, I think, because Kyle was held for like 10 years, but Dying Light 2 happens after 15. The timeline is probably fucked, <laughs> but don't worry, they will do lore reasons for it. But as I said, Aiden is just, even if it's like 10 years, you can still meet Aiden in his like journey but that's actually funny that Aiden was a pilgrim for such a long time and he learned all his skills in Villador which is like mm, mm, mm. that would be weird that Kyle Crane didn't learn anything new after those 10 years I mean he was held hostage whatever you know the meaning of what I'm saying. Just make fucking Aiden into the DLC so we can trade items with him and actually have some transfer to our, the both games rather than just being a totally standalone game. But yeah, that's about it. You have some concerns, you have ideas and that's it for me for today. And see you in the next one.